In this lesson, we're going to learn about what Node.js is. We're also going to learn about what NPM is. And then we're going to take a quick overview of the Node.js integration Drupal module. So I've popped open a browser and I'm at nodejs.org, which is the homepage for the Node.js project. If you read the description at the top, Node.js is described as a platform that's built on Chrome's JavaScript runtime for easily building fast, scalable network applications. Node.js uses an event-driven, non-blocking I.O. model that makes it lightweight and efficient, perfect for data-intensive real-time applications that run across the distributed devices. Well, that's a nice, succinct description, but what on earth does it all mean? Well, Node.js runs on Google's V8 JavaScript engine, which is a virtual machine. It uses an event-driven, non-blocking input-output model, which allows it to handle many thousands of connections on a single process. Due to its asynchronous design, Node.js is really well suited for real-time communication, things like chat and games. NPM stands for Node Package Manager, and it's used to manage packages for Node.js applications. So packages are basically just dependencies. You can think about them much like you would a Drupal module. NPM comes bundled with Node.js. So when you install Node.js, you'll actually also have NPM installed. Packages are defined by a package.json file inside the package directory. NPM itself allows you to download and also publish packages for other people to use. So let's do a quick comparison. It's a little difficult to compare Node.js and Drupal as one's a PHP framework and the other is JavaScript running on the server. However, let's give it a shot. So NPM was created in 2009 and to date has 171,722 packages at the time of recording. Drupal conversely has 31,440 modules and it was created in 2001. So you can see Node and NPM indeed very popular and there's lots of activity there. You can see that simply based on the statistics in this slide. So what exactly is the Node.js Drupal module? Well, it's actually made up of two distinct parts. Firstly, a set of Drupal modules that allow for adding real-time capabilities to a Drupal site. And then it's also a Node.js application, which is built with the Node modules Socket.io, Express, and Request, available from NPM, and the Node.js application itself is run from the terminal. So I'm at npmjs.org, and I've just searched for Socket.io, which is one of the dependencies for the Node project. And you'll see here, Socket.io is simply a Node.js real-time framework server. And it has a simple description on how to use it there. Thankfully, you don't need to write any code. It's already done for you in the Node.js integration module. Just to show you the other dependencies, there's also Request, which again is a simplified HTTP client, as you can see here on the NPM project page for it. And then lastly, there's Express, which is a fast, unopinionated, minimalist web framework, as its description here in NPM states. And those are the modules that make up the Node.js applications dependencies. And then obviously, the creators of the Drupal module itself have written an application that's called server.js. And we'll get further into that later in the series. But basically, at its core, the Node.js Drupal module allows a Node.js application to talk to Drupal and vice versa, and also for uh, an end user to connect and talk to Drupal, both over the regular channels that are available with the Drupal setup, as well as also using the Socket IO library, which is part of the Node.js integration module to create a socket connection to allow for persistent real-time communications. For now, I'm gonna head over to my Drupal site and jump ahead of my second video in this series, which actually covers installing Node.js, NPM, and the Node.js Drupal integration module. And I'm just going to pop open my modules page as an administrator so that I can quickly talk through the various modules that are part of the Node.js integration module itself. So I'm gonna minimize the core modules and scroll down a little. And here you can see in the Node.js section, these are all of the modules that are actually bundled with the main module. So the core module is Node.js integration itself, which as you can see, adds Node.js support to Drupal. Node.js config is probably the most useful other module along with core in that it helps you to set settings for Drupal to store 
and tell it which way it should talk to Node.js, as well as providing a handy configuration builder for you to create configurations for your Node.js application. And then we have Node.js notifications, which adds a client to pages for displaying real-time notifications from Node.js. And those three modules together um, are what make up the core of the Node.js integration project. The other modules are kind of additional and they can be used on their own with Node.js integration config and the notifications module to provide extra functionality. Let's take Node.js actions, for example. It provides actions that dispatch real-time user notifications via Node.js. So I'll be covering that in a video in this series called Node.js Actions in Action. In this series, I'm not going to be covering Node.js Buddy List. It's a little out of scope of this series. However, I am going to go on and cover Node.js Notifications, which I've already mentioned. Node.js Subscribe, which allows for subscription-based notifications for different content types. I'm also going to cover Node.js Watchdog, which adds watchdog messages to the DB log page in real time. That's a really help, real helpful one. And that requires the Node.js Ajax Framework Integration module, which is also bundled with the Node.js Integration module. So that's a quick overview of the Node.js Drupal module itself. And really, at the core of it, it is a notification client for a variety of things occurring on your Drupal site. And it allows for a fully persistent connection between users that are connected to your site and Drupal. So let's do a little recap. In this lesson, we covered what Node.js is. We also learned about what NPM is, Node's Package Manager. And then we took a quick overview of the Node.js Drupal module so that you could see the modules that make up the Node.js integration module itself. Thanks for watching.